All right, DeAndre, can you hear us? Yes, sir. Great. Questions for DeAndre Johnson, our last player for today. We'll start with David Pascal, then we'll go to Gustavo. DeAndre, what is the, uh, being from Florida, what does this rivalry mean to you? Oh, man, this is another great opportunity to go out there and play some really good guys. I got a couple guys uh, down there in Florida that I played with in high school. So just going to be good, going to those guys again since high school and uh, just looking to compete. I'm ready. Did you have a favorite team among Florida, Florida State, or Miami growing up? Uh, it was crazy. I liked the Florida State growing up. Everybody in the household liked the Miami, so it was a big thing. But I liked the Florida State myself. And then one last one for me. What, why do you think this program, you've seen in the last few days, LSU, Kentucky, South Carolina, they've all had players opt out. Why do you think mm -hmm. nobody, that's not happened at Tennessee? Uh, you got guys here that just, they're just brought in. Uh, we trust the, the medical staff around us, all the information that we're getting. So guys have just been locked in, just practicing safety. And uh, we're just hungry to play. Guys just want to play football here. Thank you. Yeah, Andre, Tennessee has not played at home since October 24th. It's six weeks. How much you guys, how much you miss playing in front of the fans and how much you excited to play at home against Florida? Oh yeah, anytime we're playing at home, man, it's just a great opportunity to go out there in front of our fans and put on a show. So I'm most, I'm most definitely excited to get back in kneeling uh, where I'm comfortable at and just put on a show. So we're happy, we're ready to go out there and play. And you played Florida three times and you have not won yet. How much you want to beat Florida? Oh man, it, it, that's most definitely on the top of my checklist. I got to do that before I leave here. So Saturday is another opportunity, a great opportunity to make that happen. Uh, I'm playing hard, my brothers are with me and we're ready to go. We'll go to Vince, then Jimmy. DeAndre, a couple things. First, who are some of those guys on that Florida team that you played with and against in high school? Yeah, uh, Kamora Gamble, uh, the running back. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. There's a couple other guys that, that were on that team. Uh, some guys that actually graduated too in the past. Chris Henderson was one. So they got a couple guys out there. Uh, Sean Davis, it's a name. I can't think of everybody off the bat, but they got a couple of uh, nice starters out there that we're going to be playing against. And describe how good of a player tied in Kyle Pitts is. Oh, yeah. He's regarded as one of the best in the nation. Uh, he has many strengths. Uh, we know that he's going to be out in the pass tree uh, trying to catch a lot of routes and concepts. So we got to do a good job of identifying him before the play starts and uh, make sure that we're keeping our eyes on him. One quick follow-up. I know he's a, a different animal in, in being so much better than maybe the guys you faced this year, but – how would you describe how you guys have defended tight ends from opponents or this year uh, earlier in the season? Uh, I would say we've, we've done a pretty good job. I don't think we faced a guy that's uh, of his caliber yet. So it'll be a good opportunity to test ours too as well. So uh, we're up for the challenge. DeAndre, how would you assess your season so far? Would you say individually or as a yeah, whole? Yeah, individually. How would you assess your season individually so far? Uh, it's, it's had its goods, it had its bads uh, here and there. Uh, I can't really can't really say as, as of now, it's too early. We still got three games left. So I'm just, just trying to fight hard to get wins. It's, it's never going good when, when you're not winning. So I'm just trying to find my hardest uh, in, in a tank to just go out there and get a win. What's the key to being a consistently good pass rusher? Uh, the most the, the most important thing is just keeping your body right, Make, making sure you're in there watching film, studying your opponents, uh, studying these tackle sets, what plays they like to run, uh, watching out for snap indicators, learning new moves, new techniques with your hands. Uh, it goes on and on, but most definitely keeping the body in, in shape and uh, keeping your mental uh, sharp. And one other thing, how important is it for the defense to affect the opposing quarterback? You're facing a great one this weekend. How important is it to affect Kyle Trask? Uh, that's that's one, one of the, the most main things we got to do is keep him in a pocket, uh, keep him under pressure so that he makes some wrong decisions. And uh, we got a big task this week, so I'm looking forward to doing that. All right, Wes Rucker, then Matt Ray. DeAndre, how much thought have you given to whether or not you're going to return next season and, and what kind of – what factors will go into that decision? Um, it's something that I've been getting asked lately. It's something that is in the back of my mind. I can't really say right now. 
Uh, I'm just focused on Florida. That's the next game on the schedule. And when I get to that time, uh, it'll, it'll be a decision. But it's something I really haven't been thinking about too much. DeAndre, when you look at Florida this season, the, the least amount of pass attempts that Kyle Trask has attempted is 27. You know these guys are going to throw the ball. As a pass rusher, how exciting is that for you going into the game, knowing that you're going to get an opportunity to get after the quarterback? And, you know, d does it does it motivate you even more going in? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. It most definitely does. When you see the, those pass attempts and you see how many times they try to uh, connect through the air. So, uh, I'm going to have my ears pinned back, just looking to make some opportunities uh, off the edge and make some winning plays for this football team Saturday. And, and quick follow, if you don't mind, you're going to have there, – there's going to be opportunities when, when Kyle Pitts is more in line and, and trying to block C area and try to get out on routes. You're going to – you know, you're going to have some one-on-ones with him where you may have to jam him. You know, how difficult is that for you to have to maybe go up against him and then try to go after the pass? Or is that something you've looked at coming into this week? Uh, I think it, it'll show off my versatility even more. Uh, I just got to keep my eyes in the right spot, uh, play play with my right technique that the coaches have uh, taught me to play with, and I should be fine. Vince? John Jerry, earlier in the season, Coach Pruitt and some of the other defensive coaches have talked about trying to keep things simple for you guys or simpler for you guys because of all the time that was missed earlier in the season, in the preseason, have, has that, has the defense maybe become more elaborate and you guys have been able to put in more and do more, especially with all these open weeks as the season has gone on? Yes, we, we definitely got a, a lot of time to put in a couple more uh, different packages, different schemes that we've been working on. So it's just getting to the right opportunity to use them, but most definitely we've been adding some things. Any other questions for DeAndre? All right. Thank you.